What's up, guys? It's Mega Man 33570. Welcome back for more Pokemon Platinum. In the last episode, we got here into Orbert City, and as you guys might notice, Pangu is level 16 instead of level 15 now. Um, the reason for that is, for some reason, um, when I was doing my test run of Platinum, I had a save state of, for some reason, a save state 10. So when I press F10 to end the recording, it would bring me back to that exact spot. So I had to go all the way back and had to do that over again. So Pangu is now level 16. I stopped him from evolving. So in this episode, he will be evolving. Um, also, another different thing about this, you might notice this, you might not, I'm not really sure. Um, my voice might sound a little like the quality for the audio might sound much better. And that's because I now have headphones, so I can put them in my ears, and so that way the audio and my voice will be recorded perfectly, and hopefully there's no echoing involved. So, start over by heading over here, and then your rival's gonna start into you again. Whoops, Mega Man, you got a gym badge, huh? Eternal City is the next place that, that with a gym that gives out badges, right? Don't all gyms give out badges? So yeah, I went out to Route 207, but I can't go out there with a bicycle. I made my back team battle and toughened them up so it wasn't a waste. So I'm going back to Jubilee City. Next up, the Eternal Gym Dash. Peg in sec 10 seconds before I dash. Peg in seconds <laughs> before I dash. 9. Bah, who's got the time to count? 80 HD much? <laughs> Alright, so heading in here, we now have the Orber Gate. We're back here. And let's just move back here. Hopefully no wild Pokemon. I'm just gonna walk. There we go. Okay, good. I didn't find any wild Pokemon. Alright, so now, let's head this way, you know what, let's just wake up. Right, so, back here on Route 203, I think it is, and now head over here to Juvia Life City, and look, it's the looker, oh great. Oh boy, this, that, this means something. Tell me, have you not obtained a pal pad? Is not a pal pad a free to anyone visiting the Pokemon Center's basement? Anyway, there appears to be no one shady. No one shady in Jubilee City. I shall therefore take my investigation somewhere elsewhere. But my friend, I suggest you remain vil vi vigilant for shady grown-ups. Okay, no shady, no shady adults in this town. All right, all right, good. All right. So remember how he said no shady adults? Who the hell are these people? Now, 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 Professor Rowan, you must comply. Hand over all your research findings for free, naturally. Failure to comply will result in a, in a painful time for your assistant. Oh, hey, it's Professor Rowan. Yeah, I get to do an old man voice again. Oh, Mega Man! Well, how's the Pokedex progressing? Hmm, that's the Orberg's, that's Orberg's gym badge, I see. That I hadn't given up giving you your first Pokemon only recently. Perhaps being a trainer is like second nature to you. Oh, Professor of Pokemon, must you be so difficult? We are speaking to you on business. We are speaking to you on business, because this is work for us. What we're saying is, we demand you comply with our demands. <laughs> you demand they comply with your demands. Quiet, you lot! Why must you be such a nuisance? Let me list you some ideas of you still need to learn. Number one, don't loiter about no good for, for no good reason. Number two, don't interrupt others while they are attempting to converse. Number three, if you don't get in your if you don't get your way, don't raise your voice to be intimidated. Number four, don't think I'm a crook. You've grown strong just because you're in a group. Number five, what is with those outlandish outfits you have on? My goodness, you call yourselves adults. You kids. You don't don't grow up to be like these sorry specimens. Wow. You had to make this personal. Now, you have forced our hand into making a show, of course. We will make you regret insulting Team Galactic. You kids, give these thugs a lesson in civility, please. Why can't you do anything? Mega Man, let's battle together! Alright, let me say. God, this headphones are starting to hurt my ears already. I'll get used to it. Anyway, we have the new group, the Team Group, Team Galactic. So, it's gonna start off with a double battle. They're gonna have Stunky and Glammy out. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the wing attack on Stunky. 
Um, and it's using fake out. Fake out is a move that only works on the first turn of the whole of the whole match. And fin and fake out will almost always make you flinch unless you have a uh, inner focus for an ability. All right, so let's try another wing attack on Stunky. Hopefully, Chimchar is going to attack Stunky too because we cannot control Chimchar because it's Dawn spoke so no great attack with. All right. Oh, you burned it. Nice job. Wow. Alright, uh, one more wing attack on Stunky. And that should, yeah, that should do it as long as Chimchar uses Ember again on Glamia. That way, wing, yeah, wing attack will fuel Stunky. If Chimchar uses Ember again on Glamia, then that means we won the battle. Yep. Okay. Yep. Alright, wing attack on Stunky. And so now you have to use Ember on Glamia. <laughs> Wait, no, I think Chimchar already attacked. Alright, yeah, good thing is, her starter will not even get experience, so we get we get all the experience for this. So Superstar is level 12, and now level 13. Good job. Which means in one more level it will be evolving. Now we have Double Team. Double Team is a move that raises the evasiveness. I'm probably gonna re- yeah, I'm gonna get rid of Growl. And we learned Double Team. Double Team is a pretty cheap move, but I don't, I don't really like cheap moves, but whatever. We'll try it. This won't do. Time to retreat. This mission is a failure. Yes, it is. Because you're a failure, too. You leave us no option. We will retreat for now. We shall do We shall do so because Team Galactic is benevolent to all. Benevolent and Vulcan that god. That love! They call themselves Team Galactic! When Pokemon evolve, they seem to release some type of energy. However, I believe that it's a mystic power far beyond our control. But Team Galactic seems to be studying that power's potential. They want to know if it can be used as an energy for something. Mega Man, did you know? The Professor studies the evolution of Pokemon too. According to his research, 90% of all Pokemon are somehow tied to evolution. No, they're not. Oh, 90%? Really? Okay. Well, maybe that's the reason these people tried to take the Professor's research data by force. That's really unforgivable. It's all over, so you can relax now. Still, thanks to you, nothing came of that situation. I appreciate that. Incidentally, Mega Man, kudos to you for your battling skill. It got me thinking, why don't you collect all the gym matches of Zinnoh? Doing so, you'll be sure to encounter lots of Pokemon. That, of course, means your Pokedex pages will continuously fill up. Fill up. In other words, it will be of great help to my research. That said, I've given you your first Pokemon and Pokedex as yours to keep. You're free to do with them as you wish. Take care now. Bye! I don't want to see you again. You talk a lot. And I, that hurts my voice, kind of. Batman? Oh, that was very- oh. Oh, that was very good! Nicely done! Truly excellent! Oh, I beg your pardon? I'm from Jubilife TV! I'd like you to have something for letting me see that smashing battle right there. And you got the fashion case. The fashion case is something um, that you can use in Pokemon contests. We'll get on, we'll get to, we'll get the Pokemon contest later on in the game, though. You'll find a whole spectrum of chick accessories and taste backdrops. Dress up your Pokemon and watch their appeal grow. And right now, the TV station is offering facilities so visitors can dress up their Pokemon. They're also give, they are also prize, prize giveaways, too. Please get, visit our TV station. Alright. I don't know why, that's like my fat person accent. I don't know why. Alright, so here we have the Jubilee TV station. I've ever, I never actually went in here. What is there to do in here? Can I like get items and stuff? TV station Alright, you're not useful at all. What do you even say? Commercials? You're the, you're the guy for the, the Pokesh. Oh, you should get commercials for Pokesh. For dressing up my Pokemon now. Hell no! I'm not dressing up my fucking Pokemon. Hell no! Alright, I'm not doing that. I'm going up. So as you guys saw there, this is like my kind of place. This is like a TV station. Oh, whoa, my DS card came out. Your opinion on TV? Yeah. Um... For... No, no, no. Um... Feelings? Coolness? Um. Alright, uh, so this will be. Uh, 
Battle. Battle. Drooling. Battle drooling. Yeah, that's my phrase. Battle drooling. Oh yeah, that's interesting. Moving along, what feedback can you give me about TV? Um... No. Um... Dot dot dot. <laughs> Confirm. Uh, status? Dot, 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 um... Drizzle. <laughs> dot, 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 drizzle. Okay. Oh yeah, that's interesting. Thanks for answering my question, dude. I don't get anything for that? That's stupid. What are you gonna say? Uh... You know, I'm, I'm getting out of here. But, wait, what's in here? <laughs> okay. Alright then. Get out of here then. This place is not used to it all, so don't even come here. Alright, nothing interesting here then. Alright, so, heading back out here to Jubilife City. Now, we're gonna wanna head north of Jubilife City. As, as you guys can see, I believe we have this time now, right? Yep. So, as you guys can see, there is a way to go over here. However, it will be blocked off by someone. And it'll be just blocked off by water, which you can't go over there yet. But we'll get over to that later on in the game. We want to head over to Eterna City, which is all the way over here. But through that, we have to go to Floraroma Town. Because if you tried to go through Orberg City, you would need a bike to get up that sand, like uh, Roy said. So here we are on Route 204. I don't think there are any new Pokemon to find here. So let's battle this person. Oh, a weak looking trainer. Do you want to have a go? Sure, why not? Alright, last Sarah with a, with a shink. Almost a jinx. <laughs> wow, that's a lot. Alright, let's try another tackle and that'll probably take it out. Yep. Alright, so there goes Shinx, and we defeat. You should have said no. You were the one who fucking said to battle. I'll beat you with the magic heart my dad gave me. Oh my god, it's a magic heart. Youngster Tyler, with a magic heart. Magic heart, great. Magic heart level 8. No, magic heart's the weakest Pokemon alive, so we're gonna take this out easily. Yeah, see, they don't even give you good experience either. 33 experience. Horrible. Alright, um, there's an item over there. I think that's a potion, so. Oh, you know wild Pokemon! Yeah! Ah! Alright, so moving over here. Yeah, this is paralyzed you. Cool. Alright, come on, let's move over here. Alright, walk down again. Don't run into any wild Pokemon! Yeah! Alright, good. Good, good, good. Up now, heading up here. Don't. Oh wow, a trainer all the way up there. May I please trouble you for a battle? No, you can't trouble me, but you can ask me. All right, so here we have last Samantha with a Voodoo or, or Badoo, whatever you want to say. This is a grass state, so I'm gonna kill the wing attack. There goes Badoo. Right, so now moving over here. Ah. Alright guys, I just did something right there. Um, right now, you're gonna wanna catch a Bidu. Now, see, I caught Bidu, and I called it HM Slave. Now that's for a reason. Because Bidu and its evolved form B Barrel can learn almost every HM. B Barrel is your best HM Slave ever. It can learn everything except for Defog and Block. That is a major. So, Let's go ahead and teach Rock Smash to HM Slave, because you're going to want it to move on to the gym. That's why we to move on to Floroma Town. So here we are in the Ravaged Path, and as you guys see here, you can't go through anywhere without Rock Smash. So you need to take on the Orberg Gym before you go here, or else you'll just be blocked off by the rock. So interact with the rock, and you can break it like that, and let's move over here. Alright, so here we are back out on Route 204, um, and let's head up here. And it's, there's a trainer right here. Let's see. What kind of person are you? To be drawn here by the scent of flowers? Um, no. To be drawn here by the scent of victory? Oh. Uh, Alright, wing attack. Kill the butter. Kill the badoo. Oh, 14. Nice. Good job. Alright, uh, Cherubi? Yeah, Pengu. You can take it out. Why not? Alright, uh, pound. Oh, actually, we can use pack. Super effective. Super 
got to head back. Back one more time. You're drawn here by the sense of flowers. I know you are. What? Superstar is evolving. Yes, he is. Dun, 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 dun. And we now have a star Alright, ah! right, cool. So, Staravia, as you guys can see now, now has the ability Intimidate, which lowers the attack of the foe's attack stat. So that's pretty good. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and put Tengu up in front now. And, why don't we go ahead and move on? So, here. Here we got an Awakening, which obviously awakens Pokemon from sleep. I think we saw probably by the name. So heading up here, we got a Bug Catcher, so let's talk to him. Hey, hey, let me show off my Bug Pokemon. Don't show them off, you can battle with them. So here we got Bug Catcher Brandon with a Wormple, so we'll use Peck on it. Ah, so cool. Alright, we'll use one more Peck. Here goes Wormple. Um, and one more Crystal Tot. So we'll take that up, Peck. Oh, bye. That's not good. Bide is a move that it stores energy for three turns, no, it stores energy for two turns, and then attacks on the third turn. However much damage you did to it while storing that energy, it will do double the damage you did you gave to it. So now Pengu's level 17, I stopped him from evolving at level 16, but now, Pengu can now evolve into... Let me find out what it evolves into. Dun, 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 dun. We now have a print plug. Oh, what? Yeah, this is where the cry gets to sound awesome. Alright. So, we now have print plug. If you got, if you let your Piplup evolve at level 16, print plug will then learn Metal Claw right when he evolves. It's not gonna be very useful for me, so let's just move on. Ah, twins, oh god. You need two Pokemon to battle these twins, so live and lose. Yeah, twins live in here, you catch your reach, Both of my Pokemon are weak for them, great. Alright, uh, let's do Bubble. Bubble hits both of them, and we'll start out with a double. Alright, go ahead, both of you attack two. Um, alright, uh, now let's do Bubble again, we'll use another double team. Alright, Pokemon attack Pengu, what the fuck? Alright, uh, we'll use Bubble, and then we'll use... Quick attack, quick attack, quick attack, bubble, um, bubble, quick attack on this patch Alright, there goes that patch of Risu. Bubble, and... Alright, and there goes that patch of Risu. So, there we go, we beat Living Woods. Oh, oh, oh! But, 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 wait! Uh, okay. Alright, so moving over here, if you go over here, you can get TMO9, which is Bullet Seed. Bullet Seed is a grass type move. It's a move that hits two to five times, um, and it's not, it's not very good of a move. Alright, so, now that we're here in Floroma Town, I think we're gonna end things off here. So, in the next episode of Pokemon Platinum, we will be, um, exploring Floroma Town and possibly moving on to the next location. So stay tuned for more Pokemon Platinum, and I'll see you guys next time.